And welcome to the Vanu Podcast, the podcast making you invulnerable to the coercion of the state and the servile society. I'm your host, Shane, coming to you from the Free Republic of Pasnia, the self liberator's paradise. For more information or to become a stakeholder, that is, uh, to get involved in uh, what we're doing here, uh, please visit pasnia.com. <clears throat> Excuse me. So uh, today, uh, the following is an article I wrote for uh, the Road to Autonomy magazine and slightly modified for the Agoras Nexus, wherein I cover some of my observations concerning the highly dynamic year of 2020. As usual, here it is in audio podcast format. And uh, yes, please do consider sharing. Check us out at, uh, at the uh, Free Republic of Pasnia and consider snagging some books from our partner at uh, Liberty Attack Publications. Uh, so with that said, enjoy. If you would have asked me around this time last year, just where I thought the overall state of freedom would be in the world, I'd likely present a uh, pessimistic outlook, and I definitely wouldn't place blame on myself or anyone else for, just for uh, such a perspective. The nonsense quackery of Big Pharma was, and I guess still is, on full display, not to mention the mind control cabal of state and the pharma-funded script-reading zombies in the media. But as the cliché saying goes about pressure-creating diamonds, along with the most mind-controlled society making themselves visibly known, very useful, there was no greater catalyzer of action than the year that was 2020. Further, speaking for myself, I feel I've grown much more in the past year than in the former 27, and have gone so much further in my research studies and life generally than I could have ever imagined. And I've seen other such reports from like-minded folks. I think I finally understand what Cody Wilson meant when he talked about going beyond anarchism. Uh, more on all this philosophical, metaphysical stuff uh, over on the Von, over on the Vanu podcast sometime soon. And since philosophy is necessarily paired with action, I've seen fantastic developments in that realm too, here at the Free Republic of Pasnia, across the world, and even in the digital second realm. So where are we at? The following are my most pertinent observations at current, in no particular order. Number one. Networking and organizing significantly improved. Starting in mid-2019, I really noticed folks beginning to organize outside of the main beast platforms like Fascist Book. That rapidly expanded early last year. Telegram became a primary for many folks, whether for secret encrypted chats or public chats slash channels. Not ideal, but a good step for sure. This was about the time the Freedom Cells website blew up with new self-liberators, and I began catching wind of little voluntarist Vanuan, uh, Vanuan enclaves, homesteads, and projects. And more importantly, at least for me, the idea for Pasnia began to enter the picture. Generally speaking, organizing locally became more of a necessity as the coercion ramped up in the servile society and issues with centralization, for example, grocery stores, food, etc., reared their ugly, deformed, genetically modified heads. Great progress, but still much to be done. Next steps. Connecting these scattered second realm notes. For us at Pasnia, this entails putting together a security culture-minded map to be made available. Websites like freedomcells.org, agoras.market, agorasnexus.com, and similar sites are also of great value. Number two, more products, services, and opportunities for Agoras. As Smuggler pointed out in a recent episode of TVP, new laws and regulations mean more opportunities for Agoras. Photoshop aficionados are finding work crafting fake immunity passports slash vaccine certificates. Music festivals and social gatherings are seeing similar or increased demand with less or no supply, and in some geographical areas, farmers' markets were even, and could be, I guess, still, in a gray area. Put another way, more areas of the human experience are being forced into the underground, and life is all about perspective. I'm personally viewing this all as an opportunity. What about you? Next steps. Other than always keeping our eyes open for opportunities, but with your bitcoins and build the agora, not the new world order. Number three, 2020, the year of clear vision. 2020 was indeed the year of clear vision for many, whether it was previously compliant individuals realizing the errors of their past coercive ways or anarchists going beyond anarchy, to refer back to the earlier Cody Wilson quote, a vast number of individuals have begun to see Babylon as the grand land of confusion that it really is, this author included. What is needed became blatantly obvious to most anyone with a critically thinking brain, or awareness I suppose. That is, decentralization, the knowledge on how to grow and raise food, and the building of off-grid sustainable communities so that we can live in accordance with our principles and desires in the here and now. Next steps. The year of clear vision has also shown us that we as modern humans don't know shit about shit, to put it plainly. Seek truth and build freedom. Number four, where we put our energy, focus, and time into is extremely important. For me, this has taken on a whole new meaning, yet in such a simple way. 
If we spend our entire lives, even if by necessity, working for Babylon, the system, whatever word you want to place on it, we can't be surprised when the, when the end result of all this collective energy turns into exactly what we're seeing today. It's also worth briefly discussing just how we come across the things that we put our energy, focus, and time into. The vast majority of folks have undergone so much programming and brainwashing, again, relatively speaking, me too, that it's excruciatingly difficult to identify just where that line of truth begins. This is further complicated when factoring in algorithms, AI, etc. Were you conveniently guided to this information? Are you lost in spinning your gears in a totally pointless rabbit hole? If we aren't constantly on guard, it's not hard for our actions to inadvertently benefit the control system in some way, even if it just means wasting our time and not building Eden and his voluntary world instead. Oh, the web of confusion the coercers weave. It's actually really, really easy to get distracted and or off the track of truth, and I'm certainly not placing myself above this. Remember, just as the way to defeat the Galen dialectic, problem-reaction-solution, is to not react. The only way to win the game of coercion and confusion is not to play. Conclusion. Most importantly, I like to emphasize that while 2020 presented an acceleration within the Serval Society, none of this is new. Taxation, war, and the mass imprisonment of peaceful people for victimless crimes, to name a few grievances, have been here for centuries. Benjamin Tucker's four monopolies, uh, the ability to coin and borrow money, eminent domain, copyright, and the power to land, collect taxes, and tariffs, are neither the result of congressional overreach nor administrative agency, deep state regulations, but rather are foundations of the 1787 federal constitution. And in terms of Vanu, Rao and other visionary Vanuans saw the need for these sort of solutions in the early 1960s. I'd like to leave you with two quotes by the founder of this freedom strategy. Quote, I want a lifestyle which can easily withstand the worst technocratic super totalitarianism that is within the realm of reasonable possibility. We may still have some contact with that society, but we won't have to worry appreciably over what idiotic thing the people molesters do next, any more than somebody who takes a vacation at the Riviera now and then needs to be much concerned about the politics of France. Our change in lifestyle will be, in a sense, an answer to the omnipotence of state line of Rothbard and Hess. We only answer not only in words, but by doing the only real way. End quote. And finally, a reminder of what it truly means to be a Vanuan. Quote, a Vanuan is someone who places a high value on relative invulnerability to coercion. Someone for whom freedom is worth a fair amount, though not infinite, of effort, inconvenience, discomfort. Vanu is not just a means to other ends, nor is it an ultimate end. Like most qualities of life and life itself, it is both. A Vanuan will choose whatever way of living offers personal sovereignty, and will change lifestyle again and again, if necessary. 2020 was a year of adaptation, just like every other year. Our task remains the same, but I will say, it's good to finally see a sense of urgency. Who will build the roads to the Agora, you may ask? F it, we'll build them our damn selves. You've just heard, 2020, an unexpected blessing for self-liberation and the expansion of the Agora, originally published at the Road to Autonomy magazine, and slightly modified for the Agora's Nexus. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that short podcast, and... Uh, yeah, I will be back uh, with another intermission, or I guess uh, maybe a main episode intermission. Not sure which which one I'll release it, release it as, but um, I uh, was on the Agorist Nexus podcast recently, which uh, I will get out on uh, all the various um, platforms here uh, this weekend, hopefully. So um, thanks, guys. Uh, BonniePodcast.com, LibertyInterTech.com. And uh, for the Free Republic of Pasadena, please do consider checking out what we're doing. And uh, if you uh, are vetted or you know somebody, uh, if we know somebody and, and uh, know somebody that can vouch for you and you want to uh, come out to our first event here at Pasnia um, last weekend in March, um, just go to Pasnia.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and uh, you uh, can get a little more information there or just join our uh, Telegram group. And uh, you can uh, uh, yeah, learn more there and uh, hopefully we'll see you out here um, at the Free Republic. Our strategy for liberty is the creation of a culture of liberty, a society that occupies its own protected space and implements independent systems of cooperation. We need to create a second realm. Device connection terminated.